We're building our own uh, battery cells. Uh, we, th we think the most advanced uh, cell in the world here at Giga Texas. And uh, we think over time this will probably be the, the biggest uh, cell factory in the world. A new type of battery has quietly surfaced from Tesla's hidden labs in Austin, Texas. No flashy reveal, no stage lights, just a breakthrough that's now rippling across the EV industry. From the outside, it resembles any other pack. Inside, though, it's faster, safer, and stronger than anyone imagined. This isn't just energy storage, it's instant power on demand, with no lag, no fade, and no overheating. Tesla hasn't merely refined the battery, they've rewritten the rules entirely. The old game, lithium's ceiling. For over 10 years, the EV race has revolved around a single element, lithium. It powered everything from high-end sedans to affordable electrics, becoming the industry's unquestioned core. But lithium carried its flaws. Engineers knew them well. Slow charging speeds, shrinking capacity over time, and the ever-present threat of thermal runaway under heat. Experts chased fixes. Faster charging, advanced cooling, new cell shapes. But progress was gradual. A few more miles of range here, a few minutes shaved there. The cycle never broke free from lithium's limits. Even as improvements made headlines, the core problems lingered. Lithium stayed costly, politically vulnerable, and difficult to source. While the industry kept trying to stretch the old chemistry, Tesla quietly stepped away. They weren't trying to win within the old rules. They were preparing to end the game. The Austin Discovery. It began with a simple question. Why keep patching lithium's weaknesses when another material was waiting? In Tesla's Austin facility, a small group tested aluminum, a metal battery science had largely abandoned. Aluminum was cheap, plentiful, and highly conductive, but it had a fatal flaw, ion lock. It could hold charge, but released it too slowly for real-world driving. For decades, that barrier went unsolved. Tesla cracked it. They created a carbon graphene framework lined with atomic scale induction points. This didn't just allow aluminum ions to move, it propelled them. Once it worked, everything shifted. Suddenly, lithium's issues didn't matter anymore. Tesla had activated a material capable of near instant energy flow, stable at high temperatures, durable across time, and free from fragile supply chains. Quantum burst discharge. The chemistry was only half the story. The real leap came in how energy was unleashed. Tesla called it quantum burst control, or QBC. Instead of a slow, steady trickle of power like conventional cells, QBC fired energy in precise, ultra-fast bursts. The result? Torque with zero hesitation, as though the car anticipated the driver's move. Lab figures sounded unreal. 7,000 watts per kilogram, over five times the strength of Tesla's 4680 lithium-ion cells. And unlike lithium, which collapses beyond 40 degrees Celsius, aluminum thrived at 85 degrees Celsius, delivering steady power without cooling systems groaning in the background. It was like switching from a garden hose to a fire hydrant, the same water, but unleashed with unstoppable force. For Tesla, this wasn't just progress. It was a new beginning, a new, the birth of Model 2. Tesla didn't retrofit this battery into an old model. They built a new machine around it. Internally, it was called Redwood. To the world, it would debut as the Model 2 a compact EV with numbers that sounded impossible. A base price under $16,000, a range of 550 miles, and a full recharge in just five minutes. Early test cars ran in secrecy, disguised in black wraps, pounding closed tracks. Reporters who caught rare rides had no idea what was inside, only that the car exploded off the line hitting zero to 60 in barely over three seconds, with no fade, no overheating, no warning messages. 
it simply delivered again and again. Tesla wasn't catching up. They were moving so far ahead, the rest of the industry couldn't even see their trail. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Aluminum. The element ignored. For years, aluminum was dismissed in labs. Yes, it was light and common, but too unstable and too sluggish at releasing stored power. Most scientists abandoned it. Tesla didn't. They turned its shortcomings into strengths. By embedding an aluminum core into a crystalline framework reinforced with graphene-like layers, they made a structure that tightened with heat instead of failing. In deserts, on racetracks, or hauling loads, performance didn't sag, it rose. And with aluminum being Earth's third most abundant element, the supply chain headaches tied to lithium and cobalt vanished. No mining chokeholds, no geopolitical chess, just accessible, scalable material for millions of cars. This wasn't just better chemistry. It was a total reset. Five-minute charging. For years, charging speed was EV's biggest obstacle. Even the most advanced lithium packs needed 30 minutes for a solid fill, and only with the best stations. Tesla's aluminum-ion battery shattered that wall. In a private demo for investors, engineers wheeled out a plain black Model 2, plugged it into a standard supercharger, and started a timer. Five minutes later, it hit 80%. No exotic cables, no special grid. Just the new chemistry with a re-engineered interface built to withstand the surge. Inside the cells, nanostructures channeled ions like streams of light eliminating the slow resistance points of lithium. Even more shocking, the pack barely warmed. No roaring fans, no coolant strain, just smooth, repeatable energy transfer. In that moment, one of the biggest reasons people avoided EVS was erased. Charging time was no longer an issue. It was barely a pause, an infinite life cycle. Most batteries begin fading from day one, Every charge and discharge chips away at capacity until they're no longer useful. Tesla's aluminum ion pack flipped that reality. Each cycle didn't weaken it, it strengthened it. Its internal lattice restructured itself under load, like bone rebuilding stronger after stress. Tests showed that even after 500,000 full cycles, it still delivered 100% performance. That's over a century of daily use, with no degradation. Regenerative braking became near-perfect, capturing 98% of normally lost energy. In city driving, that meant 20% more range without plugging in. Heat, cold, high-speed launches, nothing phased it. The battery didn't just endure, it thrived, rewriting the rules of battery life like move Giga Mexico and the micro factory swarm. Tesla knew this breakthrough couldn't be bottlenecked by old production methods. So the first aluminum hub rose in Giga Mexico, built for speed, scale, and efficiency. Gone was the water-heavy coating process of lithium plants. In its place, a dry electrode system cutting build time in half and saving billions of gallons of water annually from raw metal to finished packs in under 72 hours. But Mexico was just the start. Tesla's strategy was a swarm. Dozens of micro factories worldwide, each churning out a million packs a year. By scattering production globally, they bypassed lithium's fragile supply chain and geopolitical risks. It wasn't just manufacturing, it was independence produced and deployed at a scale no rival could match. Driving the revolution. Specs on paper are striking, but the real proof comes behind the wheel. Push the accelerator and torque slams you into your seat. Not once, but every time, with no fade. No lag, no hesitation, no waiting for buildup. It's always ready, as if the car anticipates your intention. Traditional EVS limit output, 
to protect cells. The aluminum ion pack needs no such guardrails. You can hammer it on track laps, tow heavy loads uphill, or dart through urban traffic, and the output never drops. Tesla's AI-driven power system adjusts live, adapting to driver behavior and road conditions. It feels less like commanding a machine and more like moving as one. Every burst, every corner feels natural, fluid, like the car itself wants speed. Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't another small step. It's a leap that rewrites what EVS can be and how energy shapes daily life. Charging time, range, lifespan, and cost, the four walls holding EVs back have all collapsed. The question isn't whether electrics can replace gasoline anymore. It's how quickly the world can catch up before it's too late. Because the race isn't about building better cars now. It's about building the future. And Tesla is all